Good morning. We are here at Nine Sawtooth in Hilton Head Plantation. Uh, this is part of Headlands, uh, one of the developments inside of Hilton Head Plantation. Um, kind of like a subdivision of a subdivision, if you will. Uh, let's see, we got a few moles out here, but the driveway looks in pretty good shape. A little overgrown in the center here, but nothing a little bit of fun landscaping wouldn't take care of. Um, the house actually looks in good shape. The roof looks good. Looks like it might have been painted fairly recently. Um, landscaping's a little bit mature. But you still have some distance between... Sorry. Uh, between the the last board and the, and the foundation slab all, almost all the way around. So it doesn't look like it's taken too much of a, of a beating that way. Um, soffits look good. You know, some pine straw in there, but all in all, the exterior looks really good. So pretty pleased about that. Threshold on the front door seemed a little bit better days, but... As we come in, it's a um, pretty nice house. Three bedrooms um, in here. Uh, the first bedroom will be kind of an office for an older home in Hilton Head Plantation. This is actually a really wide open floor plan. You don't get a lot of open floor plans um, that were built in this um, in this this time period. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. Kind of wide open, nice skylight in the entry. Uh, the first bedroom is really kind of an office. This would be a mid-80s office. Um, it's not big, um, but they did put, uh, they always do the double doors and a closet. So you could, you can call this an office. Um You know, the, the carpet is, is, Kind of a grayish green, if you will. Um, it's serviceable, but it's kind of dirty. Um, we'll kind of take a look in here. Um, our first bathroom. Assuming probably original. We've got popcorn ceilings throughout. Fixtures are probably pretty dated there. And then we have the first true bathroom. Forgive me, my uh, my camera thing's just not holding a charge these days. So, um, it's a really good sized bedroom. Vaulted ceilings, bay window right there. Obviously, they're moving out. Um, we're kind of doing whatever. It's uh, more than likely an estate sale. Um, but that's the second bedroom. Really, the the condition of the property is not bad. I mean, this is listed at five ninety nine, and I think at five ninety nine, it's a really good. Nice high ceilings here in the master. Master has views out to the golf course. Again, same tile. Nice natural light. I like the skylight. Um, I'm not seeing any water marks on the ceilings as I'm going through things here. There's a pretty nice little wallpaper on there. Walk-in closet, pretty good size. And then they've got a big soaking tub. 
I, I really like the wallpaper in here. And a shower. That's just one of the, just kind of a solid surface insert shower. All in all, in really good shape. Um, very neutral. This is almost a gray pink in here. On camera, it probably looks more like a blue gray. Um, although it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, you know, it's just one of those, it's an interesting color in here. The rest of the house is pretty much white. Um, obviously this room is pink that we first saw. Um, but now into the main living. Really nice size um, dining room here. Very formal dining room. Um, bay windows. Everything up there looks good. The windows look in good shape too throughout. Um, they just really, it doesn't look like it was lived in hard, um, at all. It looks like they did a lot of maintenance over the years. They haven't replaced a lot of things or done a lot of updating, but that's not always a bad thing. Um, In house, you know, it's really kind of an interesting house. Kitchen looks in really good shape. Solid countertops. Funky door. A couple of the doors are a little funky um, over time. Really nice height in here. I like the use of the skylights in there. And that's a huge island, kind of two-tiered. Two Getting a little desk in here. I'm not sure if the dishwasher or there's a sign on the floor do not work. So I'm assuming it's the oven um, microwave combo since there is a microwave right there. That's just a guess. Um, nice long uh, powder room area here, or not powder room, goodness. Um, wet room, kind of uh, laundry. They have it set up with a little desk in here. You could certainly put in um, you know, just a bench and some seats, things of that nature, but nice walk-in storage closet type deal here as well. And really good size garage. The big two car, got plenty of cabinets and storage in here. Leads out here to the courtyard or to the trash area. Looks like These were, it looks like these were replaced in 2019. So, um, HVAC's look in pretty good shape. Uh, that's for sure. You know, the last part of this really that we need to kind of discuss will be, you know, again, just really great ceilings, great light in here. Um, the outside, um, you know, right now they've just got a little patio right here. 
Um, door slides nicely. Quiet. You're right here on a on a tee box for. Excuse me. Off in the distance, there's a blue flag. So it looks like you're on the tee box for par three. I can't tell officially, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to put a uh, pool back here. Um, trying to find our lot lines back here, but assuming my lot line's right about here. You know, you would certainly be able to put a pretty nice size pool in back here. So, should not be a problem. Just kind of looking around it. Again, everything just looks good. The shrubbery and stuff like that, a little overgrown. Hmm. Really no doubt about it. You've got some vines right there that are certainly, you know, kind of taking over, crawling up onto the roof, which sooner than later need to be taken care of. And by that I mean uh, right away if you're the if you buy it. Um, you know, the gutter right there would need to be replaced. Uh, those are going to be you need to clean out. But my gosh, it looks in really, really good condition. Um, I know I keep saying that, but, and it's. Kind of hard not to. And it looks like the neighbors have a pool. Um, right there. So being able to probably come out to about right here. If you wanted to, and then just kind of landscape it for a little bit of privacy if you would like. I mean, it's kind of a cloudy day out and I mean, that's putting it mildly. Um, a little dirty right there, like some birds have been on it, but. Mm. I don't see any dry rot, wood rot um, around it. So, uh, might be worth an offer. Uh, we need to get one in quickly. So, anyway, I'll send this to you. 843-384-1606. Again, Dave Thornton, Carolina Realty Group. Have a great day.